Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So good to have you here. Today it's pouring down with rain, thunder, lightning here in India. And last week we had heat waves of like 41 degrees. So this is a huge relief. Today I've got a POV video for you guys. I shot this a few weeks ago in much better weather. <laughs> here in Navadweep in West Bengal. It's a very uh, holy place, a place where Lord Chaitanya appeared 500 years ago. And we're going to start off with the River Ganges and then move into the township, uh, shops and markets and things like that, and take some photos. And I'll also do a voiceover and share my process of what I'm looking for in an image. So I hope you enjoy it. And it's a long one, so <laughs> grab a cup of tea or something like that, make yourself comfortable. And yeah, let's get into it. Namaste and welcome to another Dweep. It's a very special place. I'm so grateful to be here. And here we are on the bank of the River Ganga. As a photographer, it's so hard not to have unrealistic expectations of yourself when you come across a scene like this. You know, this beautiful early morning light, this beautiful scenery and, and people all around you and the colors. So it just feels like you could take these award-winning shots by just pointing your camera in any direction. When the reality is, it just doesn't happen like that. So if I could go back in time and speak to myself here, I'd just tell him to relax. There's no expectations, there's no pressure, and we're just warming up for the day. So I spot this elderly lady back here, and there's just something about her that drew me in. She just seemed like such a saintly person, a real sadhu. And here she is offering her respects and pranams to me. This is extremely humbling coming from someone senior to me, and just such a special moment, one that I kept with me for the rest of the day. I was incredibly attracted to these colors here, you know, the pinks, the blues, the yellows. You've got these birds that are flying back and forth, and then this, this gentleman like offering incense at the front of his shop. And I'm just waiting for a pigeon to fly into frame there, take this shot. Not completely 
happy or satisfied with it, so I just wait for something else interesting to come into frame. Take this image, sub-framing this guy on the bike against the blue door in the background, but feel it's still missing something, still missing that sort of third element in the middle. So I come in close to the shopkeeper again and it's just those colours that grab me, you know, the pinks on his shirt, matching this pink hose, the teal, teal blues, and yeah, India is just such an amazing country for, you know, for colour photography. It's, it's just wherever you look, there's this amazing combinations of colours. So whenever I'm out doing street photography, I'm always trying to observe the light, you know, how are the shadows falling. And here we have this vendor on the right, he's sort of hidden in the shadows there, and to the left he's complemented by this dog and the light. And yeah, something about the scene that drew me in, also the colours of course. What I'm doing here is exposing for the highlights to create this silhouette image. And I don't know what it is, I'm extremely attracted to silhouettes and colour images especially. It's, I think maybe it's a subconscious thing that we associate uh, black silhouettes with black and white photography. It's that absence of colour, perhaps, that uh, really draws the eye in a, in a colour image. So I carry on the silhouette theme for the next few images on the walk and here we have his vendor here, he's shadowed by the umbrella above. Uh, see what else is in the frame, there's a poster with a face on it, in the background you've got rickshaw drivers, things like that. He's offering his incense here. So just trying to bring these three elements together to create an image. And I just love how his hands are formed there in prayer. Yeah, it's a very special time in the morning where everyone's out uh, getting ready for the day and performing these uh, morning rituals. So here I am under this beautiful banyan tree here. It's creating this sort of speckled light and shadow. And we're playing the waiting game. It's called, it's called the fishing technique, where we come across a nice scene. There's some nice colors, some nice light, perhaps a, a good background and just waiting for the right people, uh, they're all the right elements to sort of come together in a frame. This guy comes along, and I like it, I like the colours, I, I like some of the elements, but I'm a little bit too far away, I wish I was a bit closer there. So I'll bookmark this place and definitely come back. This is the same location, you can see that banyan tree up above, sort of growing above the shops there. And now I've got the light behind me. So it's just really important to try and work the angles in any particular scene and, uh, you know, explore the possibilities because you just never know what else you might be able to find. It's amazing how they can fit a whole family on a bike here in India. This is a marketplace. It's an intricate maze, actually, of uh, so many different alleyways and narrow corridors. And you get these like uh, shafts of light that just come through the awnings. Again here, just practicing that uh, technique, trying to capture some silhouettes contrasted with the other figures in the light, and just waiting for the right, uh, yeah, the right elements, the right people here to come into the frame take this image. Uh, I like it. I like the guy on the left there silhouetted and you can see someone in the background but it, I don't know, it's just not telling a story. There's nothing incredibly interesting going on. So moving on from that silhouette theme, I decided to practice a compositional technique known as layering. Layering is something that someone like Alex Webb is probably most famous for mastering. 
And when it's done really well, like he does, <laughs> it creates this amazing three-dimensional, or in his case, almost like five-dimensional look to your images. Now, I'm no Alex Webb by any stretch of the imagination, but if you want to know more about layering and how it works in a future video, then let me know in the comments. The hardest part of layering is probably the timing of all those moving elements. So what I'm doing here is breaking up the scene into three parts. I've got my background, my middle ground, and then my foreground. This is something I learned actually from watching one of Dante Sisypho's POV videos where he goes into this in a little bit more depth and really helps to simplify the process. So huge shout out to Dante for that. I'll link his video in the description. So in this scene, my background is this shopkeeper, you can see him sitting down there. And then the middle ground is the people walking back and forth across the frame. And in my foreground, I'm just waiting for the right person to come in close to the camera. So just winding up the photo shoot here with the scene with monkeys <laughs> jumping across the street. Uh, I didn't get all the footage of this on GoPro, but again, I'm just practicing that layering composition. Where I've got these ladies here on my right, which are my foreground. I've got people walking back and forth through the middle of the frame, which is my middle ground. And I'm just waiting for that monkey to just come jumping across the background. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that. I know it was a long one, so if you made it this far, thank you so much. If you want to encourage me to make more videos like this, please consider hitting that subscribe button, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.